What's up guys, JJ here, and today we're going to talk about African cichlid breeding behavior. Now we've talked about breeding African cichlids before on this channel, but I just recently caught them in the act of spawning, so I thought what a great time to specifically talk about what that behavior looks like. Now African cichlids are known for having some of the most vibrant colors of any freshwater fish, and are personally some of my favorites. But one of the most interesting things about them is their mouth brooders. Um, what does that mean? It basically means that the female is going to carry the eggs in her mouth instead of laying them on a leaf or any other underwater surface. And she actually takes care of those eggs until she has free swimming babies. The process often begins with the male sort of digging into the substrate. You might see him spitting some sand all over the place. And then you might see him acting more aggressive towards other fish or more erratic in general. So if you see a male cichlid sort of gyrating or swimming all over the place more active than usual, there's a good chance he's just trying to attract a mate. And once the female is interested, you'll see them start swirling around in kind of a brief courtship, if you will, until she starts laying the eggs. And what they'll do is she'll lay an egg, they'll swirl around and the male will fertilize it, and then she'll pick the egg back up in her mouth and that process will repeat over and over. I always think of it kind of like a yin and yang, the way they swirl around. And they'll keep doing it, lay the egg, fertilize the egg, and pick it up until they're done. And sometimes this process could take hours. And after the spawn, the female will hold the eggs in her mouth for about three weeks, sometimes a little longer, until the babies are ready to go. And please forgive the grainy video. It's really hard for me to catch them in the act and every time I try to get up close for a good video, then it spooks them and they kind of scatter. So if you were wondering why your fish were acting differently or suspected there might be some breeding behavior going on, I hope this video helped. And if it did, hit that like button and subscribe for more content. And if you were considering breeding African cichlids or want to know more about the process from beginning to end, make sure you watch this video here where we cover it in depth. Alright, thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.